Hey Capricorns, this is your reading for June 20th through July 20th. Thank all of you guys for coming back to watch your reading here. We're going to be taking a look here, uh, Capricorn, at your general energy. We'll take a look at your finances, your career, and also love for you. We will also do a second section of this reading, ask a question, get an answer um, at the end of the reading, okay? Coming up for you, you have Taurus, the expression of Taurus coming in with this beautiful oyster. It's talking about self-worth here, all right? So uh, the card is saying that um, a pearl forms in an oyster. Usually a pearl forms in an oyster when there is a particle that gets into the oyster shell um, or there is a parasite that gets into the shell of the oyster, into the fleshy part. It uh, creates a barrier around this irritant or this parasite here um, of calcium carbonate. That's what it coats it with and it turns into a pearl. Uh, it could take up to four years. It could take up to four months, I believe, to form this pearl inside of this mollusk uh, or an oyster. So this is telling me here, Capricorn, that there may have been a parasite. I'm going to just say parasite. It could be a person, okay, or it could be a situation um, that has irritated you in some way. But I feel like you're turning this irritant uh, in your life into a gym, okay? Like <laughs> a pearl, all right? You're turning uh, a negative into a positive. You're taking lemons and turning it into lemonade, okay? <laughs> you guys are turning something possibly negative or challenging that you have been experiencing here into something positive. Or there may have been something that went on with you here, Capricorn, uh, an experience that you had, a situation that you had to deal with, something that you that happened in your life, um, but you're not letting that change you as a person. You're not letting it change uh, the very fabric of you. Uh, you're actually using it as a catalyst here to create something better. You're taking the experience that you've had and you're turning it into a gem, something better here, okay? So Spirit is wanting you to know here, Capricorn, that you are worthy. There is nothing that you need to earn, achieve, perform, or receive to make this statement true. Say something kind to yourself every day. I think I say this to you guys. Give yourself a, some credit here, uh, Capricorn. Um, for all the crap that you had to deal with here. Say something good about yourself. You have worked so hard. And uh, even though you may not have people in your life that give you the credit that you deserve, you need to give it to yourself. You need to take care and nurture and value and believe in yourself and praise yourself. Uh, it's not a stuck up energy, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's just you giving yourself credit even though other people may not do so, all right? So say something kind to yourself every day to help you remember that you are the pearl in the oyster, okay? Let's go ahead and jump deeper into your reading and see how this translates in your world, okay? Um, let's go ahead and shuffle this deck. Spirit and God's the most high. What message do you have here for... Capricorn here. Just gonna give this a quick shuffle. What message do you have here for Capricorn? This is your general energy here, Capricorn. You guys have the Page of Swords showing up here, and you also have the Magician card. Nice. This is the energy here for your finances. This is the energy for your career. And this is the energy here for love showing up for you, okay? So let's start with the general energy that's coming in for you, this Page of Swords and this Magician card um, that's coming up for you. So the Page of Swords in general terms is letting me know that you guys are alert to something. You may be alert to your own abilities right now at this time. You are understanding your worth. This is what this is letting me know with the Page of Swords. A lot of you guys are interested right now um, 
and exploring your own gifts and talents and skill set and spiritual side here as well there's uh this energy is letting me know that a lot of you guys may be in this mode at this time period of creation it could be the creation of something or even someone like you guys want a child here you're trying to manifest that into your world or you're trying to manifest resources into your life right now and i see you guys using a lot of willpower taking a lot of action uh using the resources that you have because spirit is saying that you're very resourceful with the magician card they're saying magic is alive in your life you understand that what you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it if you take action use logic and um you are excited okay uh about things that are happening here in your life this also talks about um dealing with challenges intellectually so i feel like you guys may be doing that as well and because you're doing that there are brilliant insights or information that may be coming in towards you like i said you're turning lemons into lemonade okay we're making lemon pies we're, we're making lemon meringue pies okay we're taking those lemons and those limes whatever okay um and we're creating something out of those challenges you're using all of your resources to to turn things around so you're very skillful you're very intelligent and spirit is saying that you guys are very powerful right now at this time as well okay so really use this energy to the best of your abilities um to create I want to say magical moments in your life or opportunities here. The magician card is just making me feel like there's a lot of spiritual magic that's happening around you here. Sagittarius. I was going to say Sagittarius. If I'm calling you Sagittarius, sorry. Capricorn. Some of you guys may have Sag in your life um, or in your chart. Excuse me. Let's take a look at this energy here. We're gonna pull out four cards here, Cap, and see what is showing up for you. Okay, so you guys have one, two, we'll take that one, and we'll take this one here. There may be an important message coming in towards you as well, okay? Mm, I'm seeing this. An important message here, you guys have celebration that's showing up with this page of swords and this magician card that's coming in. So it could be a new opportunity with your finances, uh, you guys taking action in your career um, and really uh, putting your energy into manifesting something here, okay? It could be uh, a new position or it could be an increase in pay. We're gonna get into all of this. Let's see what is your curiosity to create here is very, powerful at this time and it's going to lead to great um success Ooh, and partnerships <laughs> look at that i love it you guys have the two of cups and the nine of pentacles showing up in your section of your finances like i said there is an important something important happening here with your finances it could be an important partnership contract that you're going to be signing here capricorn this could be online offline for you but it's going to bring in a lot of money with the nine of it's going to be a lot to celebrate let me tell you, you've created this energy here with the Magician card and the Knight of Pentacles. You've created some opportunity that you're going to be so blown away by. It's going to really bring you in the financial um, stability that you need at this time. Uh, it could bring in a lot of rewards. Achievements will be met. Profits will be made. Abundance will be had success is here that's what i'm saying this could also be a relationship here that uh, brings in more finances so you guys may meet someone here that's very successful um and oh my gosh <laughs> they really put you on a pedestal here and they really set your life in motion to help you create uh 
your dreams, okay? It could be a romantic relationship. It could be a business relationship. It could be a spiritual connection that you guys are forming with someone here. If you're single, know that love is here. Someone is coming in that has abundance, that wants to help you with your, or they bring in financial stability in your world, okay? And really put you on a pedal still. That's what I'm seeing here as well. Victory in your relationships, uh, romantically and financially uh, in friendships. I see it right now. Okay. I don't know exactly which one it is. Is it romantic for you or it is, is it business for you? But whatever it is, okay, whichever relationship it is, it's going to bring in um, more finances here, more abundance uh, towards your life. Um, that's what I'm saying here, okay? So let's take a look at your career coming in. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, so there is going to be a wish fulfilled, okay? And you're being spiritually led. You have the friendly creature that is coming in. Some spiritual energy here for you with the friendly creature. There's some wish a wish coming true. That's what the nine of cups is when it shows up for your career. So there's some a wish coming true for you. Like I said, it, it is a good partnership, maybe a, a company that you've wanted to work for, or you guys are climbing the corporate ladder or, um, something that you're doing is taking off maybe some project some amazing idea that you receive from the universe here is really taking off and you're going to be very satisfied here uh, like i said there is a lot of financial abundance surrounding this area right here with this victory card nine of pentacles your hard work is paying off it will lead to a luxurious life buying yourself something special being able to pay off your bills being able to successfully take care of yourself if you're wanting to be self-employed this is an opportunity to do so as well page of cups nine of cups i feel like it's bringing in and ensuring you that you have realistic goals in both your career and your finances. And your spirit guides are asking you to continue to put in the work. Um, you guys could be receiving here a message, a very important message here as well, like a social invitation or you're invited to some event here as well with the Page of Cups. Uh, where you're able to meet some very important people. Maybe you're uh, meeting a lot of business owners or you're meeting the head of a company or you're invited to some important meeting and someone loves your energy, they love your presentation, they love your skill set, your mind, um, and they really uh, believe in your skill set here, Capricorn. And uh, they put you in a very powerful position. This is what I'm send, uh, sending out to you. This is what I'm feeling for you here. So this is happy news I'm feeling coming in towards you in regards to your career or job or something else that you're creating all on your own. It's going to be a very positive time for you. Okay. And love, you guys have the ace of wands. You have the three of wands there's a lot of action here like i said to you this could be new love for you okay a lot of pleasure and admiration being shown to you in love it's a very exciting time for you there could be a lot of uh romance and flirtation and attraction shown to you at this time it's a very amusing <laughs> time for you at uh when it comes to love and spirit is asking you to be bold and be courageous and opt optimistic when it comes to love because uh you guys could be meeting your person here i'm saying this someone may be curious about you and you give them butterflies oh you may meet this person at a party and they feel like you are just out of this world. You blow their mind with a magician card here in this celebration card. This could be leading to marriage for some of you guys. Uh, this new relationship here could lead to something very serious with someone else or a relationship is moving to a new level where wishes are coming true. Y your finances are increasing because you're partnering up with someone romantically. Like I said, this is for business and love. I feel like you're either meeting a very successful business partner or there's a company that's very interested in you. They love your creative side. Um, 
how real and down to earth you are, um, how intellectual you are. They love your spirit here, okay? But there are so many opportunities showing up for you here with the three of wands. I feel like you guys are going to be taking the next step in your relationships, whether it's business or love. I see you moving forward, forward momentum, traveling, um, this could be long distance traveling as well that you meet someone here, someone new. But this is coming up here, Surpri surprise villain. <laughs> Why is that showing up for you here? The surprise villain, interesting. Let's take one card for this surprise villain. Hmm. Very interesting last card you got here. Let's take a look. What is going on with this surprise villain card for Capricorn? Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Okay, you have power is mine in this very moment. Surprise villain, burden, vision, this is the 10 spirit here, okay? Interesting. Power is mine in this very moment. I find blessings in every circumstance. I'm okay. I'm just going to throw this out here. I feel you're almost like the surprise villain. Like a lot of you guys, I don't know why it's feeling this way. I don't feel like you're bad here. Capricorn, but I do feel like <clears throat> this could also be, okay, you releasing people that you feel may have ulterior motives. Like you may see them laughing in your face, smiling, very normal, but you see their spirit. You feel their energy here. Um, you, you sense the unknown about them here, okay? That's what this... Uh, feels like to me here because you have the eight of cups coming in so i see you leaving maybe relationships here um it could be a business relationship personal relationship here you're, you're seeing beyond someone's mask and you're taking your power back here that's what this is letting me know power is mine in this very moment so yeah, you, you're disconnecting from relationships that do not provide you with stability and opportunity because you're seeing yourself right now as the pearl. You understand your self-worth here. You understand that all of the hard lessons that you've had to learn has developed you in a way where you found your freedom, you found your rhythm here, Capricorn, and you're no longer allowing people to present themselves with um, a false energy. You're seeing beyond the mask, beyond the facade, but beyond the smoke and mirrors, and you can actually see their shadow. That's what I'm seeing. You guys are using a lot of foresight here as well. You're just seeing who they truly are, okay? And you're walking away. You're keeping that energy away from you. A lot of people's spirit, their aura may be illuminated here for you to see at this time. You can sense it intuitively. A lot of you guys can see it as well, okay? And you're saying, no, power is mine in this very moment. I'm not letting you step into my life or change my life because... I understand my worth okay so I see you definitely you've grown a lot and you are you have turned those irritants or those parasites because that's what it makes me feel like whether that is business or love for you people that are parasitic okay or have parasitic energy you're not allowing them to um take your power away from you, take your energy away from you here, okay? You're really striking back, that's what I'm seeing, okay? Or standing firm, standing your ground here and not letting people get in your way. I'll cut you off smooth. That's what I just heard here, okay? Let's go ahead and go into the next part of this reading here, Capricorn. Ask a question, get an answer. 
uh, go ahead and ask your question here and I will pull a card for you and we'll get an answer for you, okay? So here, what answer do you have here for Capricorn? Thank you. Okay. And we're going to get an explanation here as well, okay? What explanation do you have for Capricorn at this moment? A lot of you guys are doing protection spells as well. Protecting your energy. You may be doing this unknowingly as well. Or you may be saging your home and keeping crystals on you. Just really protecting your space and protecting your energy at this time. Okay? They gave you two explanations. So we're going to go into this now. Love, let's see what's coming up for you. All right? So your answer here, Capricorn, to your question is yes. Spirit is saying this is a time for enjoying achievements. I told you, victory. Nine of pentacles. Nine of um, cups. Beautiful energy coming up for you. So this is a time for enjoying achievements, rewards, and prosperity. The situation develops calmly and allows you to appreci appreciate your happiness. Uh, it gently transforms the situation just like this oyster, it gently transforms particles and parasites into a beautiful pearl, okay? So it gently transforms the situation so that you're given an ideal frame of mind, uh, a necessity for any truths, okay? I see that you're going to be uh, finding a lot of truths here and really standing in your power. So let's get an explanation for you, okay? Uh, because you have the answer, yes, Spirit is saying in three to five months, a series, a series of routine uh, occurrences uh, charges you with inspiration and enthusiasm, Page of uh, Swords, for achieving your goals. Sometimes the routine is all it takes. So long as the routine is daily, start doing something every day that uh, that your future self will thank you for here. So you have to get into a routine to master something here, okay? That's what they're letting you know. Do it for the next three to five months in order to master it, okay? Your second uh, explanation here for your answer, yes. It says a stunning, successful completion of the situation brings positive changes into your life after six to eight months. These changes will include pleasant beginnings, stable results, and grandiose plans. Focus on the positive and you can never lose. You guys are winning for a long time, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm saying here. Uh, between three in eight months, you guys are just going to be on a winning streak here. Just stay in a positive energy. Stay in, and focus on positive um, resolutions to any problems or challenges that you're faced with. There's a lot of blessings in your reading here. Just stay on track. Be consistent on working towards something here. And remember your self-worth. Remember um, just how valuable you are. Capricorn and never forget that. That's why spirit is letting you know that you need to say something kind to yourself every day to help you remember that you are the pearl and the oyster. Okay. This is your reading here, Capricorn. I do appreciate you and your energy. If you guys resonated with this reading, if you got a message from this reading, make sure you guys leave me a comment and give this reading a thumbs up here on YouTube. It does help me on the channel. Make sure you guys also check out your moon, your rising and your Venus sign to gain more clarity. Um, if you're feeling compelled to do so, okay. Checking those, uh, the rest of your signs and your birth chart, um, to gain more clarity for this time period, June 20th through July 20th. And I'll see you in your next reading. Take care, loves. Bye.